only thing i can do about this internet problem because i'm i'm just i'm just a user i am not a provider of internet <coughs> so it's recording now uh, we will share it so i will do this again if you have a problem with the connection i think my connection as well as your connections everyone's having this problem uh, it's getting worse and worse day by day uh, these people are not giving us a good service uh, if someone is there which works for these internet companies please tell them uh, give us a proper service here you are taking money but service is very poor uh, so i will uh, again do this sections uh, we will have to click on the uh, line section tool and uh, click on the center so i just click on the center then ju you just need to click on this uh, whatever the place you like okay here i'm clicking on the holes here center of the holes then press ok that's it and this warning will come i don't uh, worry because i'm not cutting any ribs you can get something like this okay so my screen is recording so we will share this uh, if you have any issues later so we will see about that uh, so this is uh, the align method uh, so you can cut it in, in any direction you like so you will get that outcome mm. I will skip these things a little bit and I will look at uh, uh, detail sections then detail views then we will look at a tutorial then you will uh, get used to the area so uh, this tutorial can be done after I complete detail views so we can generate the uh, plan front and the uh, uh, right side view and the isometric is there then uh, we we can generate the section a line section then uh, we can get the detail view so what is the idea of detail view we see is uh, in detail views uh, we mark a certain area and we scale that area and show it in a different position now if i don't have much uh, say if this area is very 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 small and you can't put lot of dimensions what we put do is we take this out and we magnify that one normally we magnify it we, we scale up we don't scale down normally we scale up and uh, we put that area in a different position and uh, we we'll put the dimensions for that so if you have looked at our assignment so I mock exam uh, the same thing has been done so if I show you the mock assignment we did first turn first one So in this mock assignment also we have done that same theory. Okay, scale one one. Uh, here uh, we have cut, we have selected this area and we have shown it in a different size. Here the same scale is given, but you can see it's it's in a bigger uh, picture. Now we mark this area B, and we are showing it in a different place uh, with more dimensions. The method dimensions done again. Uh, it's very going to be difficult because it's a very tiny drawing tiny area you can't put all these information that's why we are scaling it up and showing it and here you can see uh, we have cut it uh, vertically and the vertical section information is shown here so you can see in our tutorials and assignments we have used this theory so you may understand uh, these things now clearly when it comes to uh, since we have learned the theory behind this so now in this tutorial we have to use that one also so i'll show you how to get the detail uh, view tool working this one so uh, normally we mark the detail area using a circle this kind of uh, odd shapes are also available normally we use the circle shape so i will uh, use the same drawing here so if i want to uh, show this area more precisely or more uh, much more bigger sizes so we will uh, apply the detail here 
and uh, please sketch a circle to continue view creation if you don't want a circle please create the profile before selecting the detail view come so uh, he's uh, asking us to create a circle so you get a pencil kind of a tool you can just mark the circle area you want to get so it's marked as g and it's coming uh, out like this okay so uh, this one we can have hidden lines on we can have a different scale okay automatically it's scaled up four times so you can get a different size even okay five times likewise uh, we can uh, get it uh, in the side of the sheet and uh, put the dimensions for this so i haven't taught you how to put the dimensions if you're interested you can look at this area so we have smart ways uh, different ways of putting the dimensions uh, we have a lecture for this also later next week or week after that we will look at how to put, complete our drawing now here i'm talking about how to generate the things views uh, detailing out our annotations uh, smart dimensions already we know more but here we have some more smart ways we will look at these things later uh, now this is the details view so I, if i want to detail another place uh, we'll just mark the area say somewhere here mark it and it immediately it will be cut off like this and you can change the scale and the weaving uh, patterns uh weaving area, methods display methods and show it like this so uh now it says uh, i can have an odd shape even now here we have circle if you want you can have odd shape okay so when it comes to an odd shape uh, software is giving me some tips so you may have seen that what he says so if you don't want to want a circular profile please create the profile before selecting the detail view so he is asking us to uh, create the profile before uh, starting this tool okay so how can i create a profile now we need to actually do a sketching so we can do a sketching I, I told that we have draw general interactive methods even so all the things i have done is up to generate it i generated everything so if you want to do some editing by yourself you have to move on to the sketching methods interactive methods and do that sketching so if you want to have a different profile the tools available here so if i want to have something like ellipse shape shape as my profile uh, we can get it done okay so we, we we can draw that then we can run that uh detail view tool okay so now it says it took this one okay so it took that uh, ellipse shape so it says it's automatically selected the profile i have created okay and uh, we can get it done like that okay so those things are quite easy a handle so i can uh, remember that what i want to do is i have to go to sketching draw the profile like a close when known eh? that's why i use the ellipse it is easy to close always uh, you can use a polygon and uh, draw that profile in your model then uh, directly with, without doing other work you directly go and uh, go to this detail otherwise the memory will not uh, take will be not taken correctly if you do other work can come he doesn't know about the profile so immediately i i can generate it and finish my work okay so that is the way we generate our detailed views so we will look at this tutorial and uh, we will spend some time uh, doing this tutorial and come back to the theory again uh, so you can start this one and try to generate uh, this uh, sheet given here so keep this sheet for the next day because we are going to put the dimensions for this so this is my uh, model uh, if you look at our folder part files uh, in the part file folder i have a folder called tutorials chapter 14 14 tut tut one this one so if you want you can use that tutorial model or else you can use your own model you drew in chapter 8 
okay chapter 8 tapi make a manda so you can use whatever the model you like and try to generate this kind of a thing in your computer then we will save this work and use this work uh, next day to put the dimensions okay, uh, i'll give you uh, five minutes to do this uh, i'll come back in five minutes okay so just uh, complete this tutorial okay uh so uh why uh why we have this internet problem is uh, i i will explain this one to you because you may think that uh, i'm not doing anything for this uh this is happened when we when we did our when we were i when i was in our other university also when we do online lessons for these kind of software things this is happening because if i'm doing uh if i'm doing a slideshow and if i'm doing a normal lecture uh i'm not going here and there and doing a um, lot of mouse operations so if you are watching a normal slide show uh, the lecturer will put the slide and explain but in in our class it's different because i'm going to here and there and showing the mouse areas so our country's internet connection is not supporting us that's the problem we have so our processing power is not very uh good uh, because i'm working with solidworks as well as uh teams as well as powerpoint computer is fully loaded so that that is the lag we have so if you have that uh, if you are experiencing difficulties now i have started my obs as well as you can look at my channel uh, everything is there with which i have done for the other students but uh, some of the new areas may not be there but lot of things 95% is available So, if you want to look at the drawing sections, uh, go to our, my channel and look at it. I, 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 uh, I will upload this one also. Okay, what I'm doing for for you guys also. Because that's the problem we have. If I'm <coughs> doing a normal traditional lecture, you will not experience this problem because I, when I'm doing robotic lecture, I don't have that uh, problem because I'm just showing a slide and doing some small coding, which is not very fast like this. Then make me he meet a mouse again, yeah, na tamaru because. I have I have you used to some speed okay so it's very difficult to slow down so that's problem is also there so anyway we will uh, we have our recording now so we can uh, look at that and uh, try to minimize this issue uh, you can see our internet is whatever they say in the tv advertise it's uh, not up to our level okay so internet is not even uh, close to our level uh that's why you can see my mouse is not move showing up uh, because internet is slow and cannot catch it uh so we will i'll do this tutorial then we will see how it uh, is going to complete so we will delete this things i'm doing deleting the parent then you can see the children are uh, deleted I'll give this mm. okay. so uh uh we we have to uh, get the section a a so I will uh, move on to uh sections. and select uh, align okay so sorry before pressing okay i have to select this one center then mark this location this location and drag uh, press okay and drag it <coughs> so, okay so now i got my section a a so it says k So if you want, you can uh, rename this. Should be a. One area is enough to rename. Then the other side also getting a. Up it normally k a k lati an na. You have to have same name. So a a is generated and the isometric view is generated. It can be taken from our view palette here. Okay. 
have to refresh it now. It, it's here, uh, so I'll refresh. So uh, this is the isometric view. Then uh, I will generate the others. So we can use the project tool here and select the parent and project it. And as well as you can uh, get a projection from here to there even. So I will use the project tool, select the parent and generate it like this. Okay. <coughs> Then uh, we have to uh, generate the detail to detail views. So we we'll select it. Circular shape is needed. Power up to somewhere here. It's called B. So you can in it, then and there rename this B. Okay. And uh, get it done. And it's three to one scale. So the scale factor is available here. It says three to one. So here we can see three to one is <coughs> not available. Okay. So uh, we can type it like this and get it done. Uh, three to one is not uh, very. It's very tiny. Mm. I'll increase it. Five to one, then I have ten to one. Ten to one will be more very big. Uh, six to one. Okay. So this kind of a thing. I'll uh, <coughs> take six to one because it's not three to one is uh, very tiny. I think the drawing sheet uh, may be the problem. I I took the A two sheet. Here I think they are asking us to select a different sheet. Mm, A four. That's the problem. Okay. So <coughs> I got uh, in my my model it's a2 but the tutorial they ask a4 that's the problem we have that that's why i scale this up uh, double of three okay so yeah that's it so please save this work for the next day we will uh, use this for our uh, we'll use this to put the dimensions and other things Save as so it will be saved as a solid was drawing format. So any questions about this tutorial? Okay, so we have that lagging issue. Uh, so uh, I have that uh, OBS now. So she has completed it. So would work. Uh, so others also try to complete uh, and uh, rename. Uh, and we will put the dimensions uh, next day. Okay. So and uh, remember about our assignment also. Uh, next Wednesday we have it. Uh, so please look at especially look at <coughs> the loft tools uh, 3d sketches uh, then uh, what uh, sweep tools okay so chapter 10 and 11 uh, we'll have a around two hour assignment so please get ready for that mm. any questions about this uh, tutorial now next tutorial is also about some generations uh, in chap this chapter, I'm generating the things. Next chapter, I'm detailing out. So here uh, we have this uh, <coughs> voice mechanism. 
uh, we can generate the views okay i hope everyone has done this assembly in their computers so you can generate this one here the different thing is we take the section here we have a configuration okay so we have a exploded view okay so you can see some line sketches given so i have told you how to generate an exploded view so that exploded view can be inserted in a drawing sheet then the drawing sheet is much more informative and much more clear okay may apikat the configuration like we can put it as a isometric view uh, so if you have this file you can do this next day we will look at how to get, get this uh, so it's in the second uh, as the second tutorial i think the assembly is given okay. so we did this assembly in our assembly class so everyone should have that capability of generating an assembly like this now and i showed you how to animate this even uh, i put the worm, sorry screw mates and show you how to animate this so you generate this one get this one and generate the views and for an example if i open this directly as a uh, assembly so uh, in the slide it says we need to have the exploded view here so we need to do that uh, in the assembly assembly drawing assembly ke ega karla thamai drawing ne ka generate when no so if you look at this one uh, there may be exploded view no exploded view is not generated so you need to uh, go to these tools and explode the views so you try to explode uh, something like this and have the line sketches then uh, save this file then generate then get the isometric view you will get it okay so if i show you a uh, uh, little very quickly what's happening so you just use the explode tool uh say regular one i'll uh, take this out okay then uh, we can press okay then we we can have a line sketching i'll apply automatic method this is the line sketching okay so then uh, if you just uh, try to get it say i'll save this work i keep my original one uh, save now i exploded it okay a little small explosion has happened uh if you look at here in the configurations i have this exploded view uh then we can animate this thing sometimes in our class i will ask you to animate this and i will ask you to uh say send me a video file uh, from this okay so we have done this in the class animate uh, collapse so these things we have done we can save this as a video format and do lot of things uh okay so i will explore this then uh, we we can go to view palettes here so we will open a drawing a2 sheet bench wise is already taken i'll take the view palettes here I'll go to the folder tutorial to bench wise choice assembly this one now you can see uh, i i have the normal isometric <coughs> view this is the original one okay as well as i have the new one also okay so whatever the view you want you can get it so it's very easy you need to actually do that explosion then the software will get it for you okay use scale uh, use custom scales say one to one it will be too much okay it's a good habit they come with you know so original configuration as well as the exploded configuration so in the tutorial here you try to explode this 
okay get the section uh, and say, draw the section view and the right view and this is the exploded view uh, and put it in the drawing sheet and complete your work okay so shall i give some time to do this uh, you try to do this now uh, second tutorial uh, explode some something like this and get it into your sheet and save it for the next day <coughs> okay save it for the next day okay uh, any questions about this i hope uh, it's not it's not going to be difficult uh, only thing is uh, we need to do a professional work so software we generate whatever we ask but we need to get it uh, clearly uh, presented okay so we will look at uh, the next areas so i hope uh, that two tutorials are okay for all of you and i will look at uh, how to uh, modify the hash pattern okay so we will we have uh, drawings with sections So this uh, this uh, has some set hatch area, okay. So when you click inside, uh, you will get this. You can click inside uh, the hatch here. Uh, it will show you this kind of a disabled uh, area. So you can uh, always untick this and uh, move on to the hatch patterns. So I said that in the uh, engineering we need to remember uh, some basic hatch patterns like concrete okay so when you put the hatch here uh, uh if i say none there will be no hatches solid i will have something like this hatch is this way. so uh you need to uh you can select this kind of methods uh, it doesn't change the material cross hatch means uh, it's having the it's disabled in the things and this can be also important you need to scale your hatch then I will uh, select my uh, famous material that is steel. So this is the steel hatch. So you have to scale your model like this and don't create hatches like this. Okay, then it's very ugly. Lines are too close to each other. And if you create something like this, uh, you will not understand anything about the material. Okay, so you need to get it. Uh, according to your drawing scale so this will be somewhat okay so everyone will understand this is a steel hatch pattern okay and if you go to something like this brick is available here brick okay so this is the brick hatch pattern okay so the material will have a different hatch pattern this is the earth so if you are working with civil kind of projects uh, you show the sections of earth like this okay so depending on the uh, project or depending on the material you work we can select it from the list here okay concrete uh, is having this kind of a pattern but if you look at uh, talk at the hatch pattern the concrete is little bit different okay as uh, I, I showed you last day or talk at concrete hatch pattern that is somewhat different but still is same uh, both software normally hatch pattern is unique should not uh, change with the software okay uh, so this is how we do the hatching so you can select the uh, hatch scale and normally we don't change the hatch angle okay method up is still the mouth uh, you say you you wonder this is zero but here we have an angle this is the normal steel hatch angle normal steel hatch angle is 45 degrees okay that is a uh definition okay okay steel or a def defined color t in 45 this zero is relative to uh horizontal what is the value so if you just give 45 here what will happen your hatch will be uh, getting 45 plus 45 90 degrees so auto already uh, still had 45 degrees that is coming from its original definitions okay then when i add 45 again i am adding some 45 if i add 90 again um, uh, now this will be oh, total angle will be 135 with respect to the horizontal axis okay so the, the don't get confused okay so this zero is uh, with respect to this angle okay 
not with respect to the east if you take with respect to this it is 45 okay so this zero is with respect to this angle okay so every material or uh, every hash has a certain de defined angles some are very angles you know, some are very nice so if you take stars you you if you turn it by 90 degrees also you will not see much difference okay okay so these kind of things available uh, and just explore this set of uh, materials here very famous ones are the ones i did uh, we, we have to know concrete and we have to know sometimes brick and we have to even though it's civil we need to know it earth materials then uh, we have uh, honeycomb sometimes we need in our designs to show uh, then uh, we need uh, steel okay. zigzag also sometimes we use okay so most commonly used ones are steel and concrete okay okay so remember uh, the angle here as well as the scale here it should be very clear to your read may may wage api full sheet ekak balana kota api te print out ekak edi me lesson ta penno now this if you look at the full scale now uh, this hatch pattern is not very clear okay uh, so i have to actually do some scale changes by looking at the full view and do that change okay so this may be better okay if i do this way it's uh, uh, it's not proper at all professional okay so you need to have something very clear print out a gatham or how you to pain note may may not body ready so you need to actually scale this up so you uh, you should not have unnecessary empty space so i can say i'll take one to one it may be too little two to one is the value we had so we'll have three to one three to one will be better much more better okay so three to one scale is the ideal one for this okay something like this so you should have some space here to write the name whether this is a front view or a top view or a right view and end elevations so you need to have some space to do that in manual classes there are rules for this manual class i have i have to give this as a rule may see it take a size second coacher ratio skill a manual class again they know because the manual class i have problems manual classes we can't edit the models or edit the drawings as like as we do in the uh, computer classes okay computer class i can to put it here and then move it and nicely adjust in manual class if you draw something you can't move it okay we have to erase it and redraw so manual classes they will precisely give these values what is the value from here to there what is the gap between these two what is the distance from this border to this so those things will be given in manual class okay so i haven't uh, we haven't done manual uh, work so remember in computer classes it's not a very big problem but in manual it will be a serious issue okay um balanna mallanga theenawada kiyala manual note ekak ekkinna so we have a manual note but we didn't do it because we can't do it with virtually those classes uh, manual drawings uh, we can't do online uh, we have to take pen, pen and pencils and do it in the drawing board so you don't have drawing boards at home so manual uh, drawings almost the same theory but here we, we you can see uh, there are defined setting out an orthographic drawing setting out an orthographic drawing so these values are really important may, may ratios the you know may computer class ek ek ganna puluwam but uh, i'm not going behind this heavily because uh, computer classes i i have uh, editing facilities okay so these kind of ratios or this uh, a b me drawing sheet ek size ek anuwa me ratios thiyanna one so what uh, a means the drawing sheet length b is the width uh, then w l 
x this gap this these gaps are coming from these calculations okay so idea is actually at ultimately the idea is you need to produce a full drawing uh, these views should fill up your space may hari is the in the back on toda that's the main idea okay that's why we have these kind of equations but in our computer class uh, we can use these equations otherwise we can just quickly uh, look at from our eyes and adjust this okay uh, later Com computer has that advantage okay so remember that also api kawadakka drawing ekak me mehema mullakata karala me tika okkom me pattara dala ehema drawings tiyanne ne okay so you need to have a full uh, page drawing me asawal mehema dala me hari enikan ida tiyala wedi pura so we don't do that this is not professional at all okay so any questions about these two tutorials and uh, we look at some more detailing tools so i will start with the uh, broken out sections so the broken out section is another way of scanning your model that is you can uh, draw a section as a closed loop and uh, within that area what are the properties i can show so these are also not uh, used in manual classes because manual it's very difficult to do these things so i will show you the idea we are cutting the model as a closed loop like this way shape can be drawn by yourself then i am going to scan through this so the depth can be adjusted so i can scan through the area and when i change this value the depth uh, you you will get different previews okay so this is one of the previews when you go further in you will get the shaft also in the middle that arm area is also covering initially it's only the piston head then it comes to the arm areas so you can change the depth okay once you change the depth you will get generate different sections so it's like you are going through that uh, uh model okay so i will uh, get it here and open a new file you can see uh, computer is getting slow uh, because of this heavy processing uh, i will we will not save this uh so i take that model through the view palette i am always doing this because uh, it's very easy then i can see the preview that's why i'm doing this way you can use whatever the method you like to uh, browse the files so this assembly i hope uh, is okay for most of the people so just try this on as a tutorial and in the assembly class also i told you to try so i will uh, open this assembly so i'll take the front view i'll scale this up a little bit to one is too much uh, one to one is yeah okay then uh then uh, i will uh, use that uh, broken out section too so when you start that immediately you will see something like a sketching pencil come comes up so we can uh, now the spline tool is actually working so you can't draw something like circles in my slide also you can see uh, 
we I have drawn something like a um, odd shape. So this is drawn from spline two. So here also we are doing the same thing. Uh, I'll go to spline. Uh, automatically the spline tool is working. So I'm just covering that area. So assume this is the section I want to generate. Okay, and close it. And it will uh, identify this is an assembly file and it will ask you to exclude the fastness so the same theory i'll press ok then uh, uh you can see uh nothing is now happening I, i'll take the preview on okay preview one then i will change the depth so when you change the depth you can see uh i'm scanning through this okay so this is how we are generating this different sections in different depths so now you may wonder uh, how the depth is measured depth can be measured uh, uh, from a certain reference also actually we are going inside the part but i don't know where 20 is measured from where okay so auto hatching those things are available i can select a certain edge and ask the software to give that sec area, give that edge, edge section preview. And make select karam when methanin kapa no 37.5 disable, you know. So you get a section from that area. But if you select something else, something like this, uh, this edge, that value is 46.5, uh, then you will get a different preview. Okay, so you can select a certain area and generate the section as well as uh, you can give a give just a normal value and do that okay so there are a lot of methods available so when it comes to zero when it comes to near zero i don't think we can give zero we can't give so you will see a very small information okay section but these tools are not frequently used remember that also okay these are not heavily used because uh, manually it's very difficult so uh, it's up to you to use these things and uh, uh, in your model but uh, remember where you can draw anything and the computer but readers also should understand okay uh, so it depends on the level of uh, technology you are using in your workshop okay uh, so you have to look at the workshop uh, technology or the capabilities the skill level of there also okay otherwise you will draw nice things in the computer but those things cannot be manufactured you have to go to very sophisticated lab to manufacture that okay so always uh, when you when the campus starts also uh, you need to look at uh, you have to go to workshops or when you go to industry visit the workshop and see what are the technology they have whether they have enough capability of producing my work so if it is not available you need to uh, get it done from somewhere outside okay so remember that too so softag is giving all the tools whatever the things this is a virtual world so you can get whatever the thing you want but in the real world there may be issues so i will do this again and undo this so you can see uh, it's not generating a different view okay here he is changing the original sketch okay so we we'll go to broken out we have a pencil but if you look, look at this spline tool is automatically selected so i said that i can draw splines normally we draw splines but if you try to draw something like a uh, ellipse uh, it will work so you have to press the broken out section again okay we we'll see whether it's working uh not uh, that area is not good i think uh it's a select as edge okay now it's good so uh it's not uh, confined to only to uh poly poly uh, splines okay 
mama qs plains kela ewuna tapital podda oluwa patch kala metende giyoth you can see the other tools also there but normally we use this plain tool okay so i'll do it again broken out spline tool is selected automatically here but uh, i can use any of the tools here so you just draw the profile should be a closed loop spline tool is very very flexible so you may be difficult for you to get it accurately drawn make about the dangala no so you need to have a lot of points and get it precisely cover the area and exclude okay and uh, preview take the preview and change the depth or else you can select an edge and get as the reference and this will be disabled and you can <coughs> get a section here so these are these may not be very clear to a lot of people okay even myself sometimes getting confused what is this one so when you produce these things uh, you should have some good communication with the manufacturing guys okay uh normally we don't do these things in our drawings tutorials are take a thing so normally tutorials also we get the normal traditional three views three traditional three views means uh, <coughs> the front view and the right view and the plan view those are the traditional views then we are giving the isometric view and if needed we give the sections and if needed we will uh, take a detail out and show it those are the normal ways of producing a drawing okay mm, in house plan this may be a little bit different <coughs> house plan normally you give the front view then you will show the front of the house then you will give sometimes the end elevations then you show the side of the house uh, house plan will have sections but you can get a section uh, in different areas so sometimes you will show the roof separately okay <clears throat> uh, these kind of isometric views not may not be shown okay so you just look at your house plan at your home there may be plans just check whether they, those are somewhat different uh, from our uh, mechanical plans okay somewhat different but the theory is almost same okay mm. we will look at the others now this is the uh, this is another one this is called auxiliary views auxiliary views is idea is i'm giving additional views okay so if i look at my uh, supplementary note last uh, monday we discuss uh, some areas here supplementary note we have a slide for these technical drawings so i stopped somewhere here <coughs> projections and i didn't do this dimension in theory uh, theory means the norms of dimensioning uh, we will look at that uh, next day uh, then we did these sections in the supplementary class broken out sections i didn't do this section in the solidworks solidworks will not support this revolve section okay <clears throat> so what is the meaning of revolve section broken out section then mama kara podda katakali solidworks well but uh, revolve section is i think it's not available so the revolve section is you are cutting from the middle and you are turning your section 90 degrees then metana tiyenne i call i bar ekak me yanne api kalpana mathi kapala meka harawana 90 degrees when you turn this 90 degrees only i can show the i can clearly see the i section otherwise i i will be uh, in the other side okay මට ඒක පෙන්වන්න බෑ මෙතන i එක හරවලා පෙන්වලා තියෙන අපිට මැදින් කැපුවා මේ i එකක් කියන්නේ මේ උඩිනුයි යටිනුයි i beam එක මැදිනුත් යන්නේ i එක so i beam is going from here to there so you turn that i beam and show it to show it to us clearly then we can hash it and show the dimensions and everything uh, nicely අපි මේක හරවලා තිබ්බොත් pain නැහැ okay so if you have something like a strip of section you can't see that's why it says revolve section we have turned it 90 degrees okay section has turned 90 degrees that's why the name given as revolve sections okay then uh, it, this is another sub sub uh, area of that one removed section that is uh, without harm in the original one i am cutting it here but i'll take this one and show it in a separate area 
ओके मेक मम हर वाल तीन हर वाल विन तेन को पेन विदउट डिस्ट्रप्ट इन दिस व्यू ओके सो दिस व्यू इज नाट डिस्टर्ब मेक लसन तीयन हिटिंग दिस व्यू एंड शोविंग इट इन द मिडल सो सेम थिंग सेम थियरी वी आर शोविंग इट इन द डिफरेंट प्लेस ओके सो यू हेव टू इमेजिन दिस इज नाइंटी डिग्री टर्न ओके लास्ट वी नदी का If you want, uh, you can have offsetted sections in solid blocks. Also, we had this. It says they are they say uh, offset, uh, single offset, and notch offset. So this is a double kind of offset. Offset they got to do. Why we do this kind of offsets? Okay. So if you cut it directly from the middle here, uh, directly horizontally from the middle, you will not get the information about this hole and this hole to the section. Abi mehen meding ke pur. सेक्शन So to reduce your drawing spaces and the work worksheets, drawing sheets, we can cut it in one shot and show it in a single drag. But you need to understand, this is these holes are not in the same location. Now, if somebody comes and uh, only show you this one, uh, I am not in. I am in a confusion whether these holes are in the same uh, loca same alignment. Me ka kohi thati ne kya kisi ma idea ka kine. But if you show this one, uh, clearly I I know this this hole and this hole are offset. Some amount is there. Some amount is there. I know this is a circular shape. I know this material. I can put the dimensions to this depth clearly and show it to the reader. Okay, so these are called offsetting sections in SolidWorks. We can do that. Mm, uh, I we don't have that exact model. I'll try to find a model and show you. Already we did it in uh, when we discuss about the sections. Uh, see, no. I don't have that exact model. I will take this one and try to show you <coughs> because that's from our AutoCAD lessons. Uh, we don't do AutoCAD with you because uh, you are not doing mechanical uh, engineering or civil. So if you have done civil or mechanical, we need to learn AutoCAD also. Uh, now here, if I uh, get the section horizontal. Uh, This uh, now uh, that model of the holes are here and there, so I'm not doing that way. Hmm. Api, we have a couple more than that. Uh, we we have this offset uh, one single offset, and we can mark uh, somewhere here and get it something like this. So our offset is now happening this way. Okay. So you can see this comes here, comes here, and comes here. So this is a single offset. So you. This area and this area are different. Okay, so this is going through the hole. This is not going through the hole. It's coming out. No, this area is blank. Metan hole lega thikbara metan hai mega apne. Okay, so this is a kind of an offset section. So it's a single offset. But in our uh, lecture here, we are showing double offset. Okay, or notch offset. Okay, so you can do that in SolidWorks. SolidWorks has that tool also. Hmm. 
same one but we mark two places now uh, here notch so you can mark somewhere here as well as somewhere here and uh, i think i did it correctly no i didn't do correctly this is coming this way going this way this way this way so you can try it and see uh, just a matter of hovering your mouse here and there uh, so you can capture a lot of information the method hole like a method hole like the information stick in so that's the idea of offset sections so idea is to capture all the views all the information in a single section okay <clears throat> align sections we discuss uh, hatching we discuss so we have hatching uh, scale as well as the hatch angles so when it comes to hatching there there is more theory uh, so we angle is important it's coming with the material and uh, if you have two hatches like this okay now if you have two hatches uh, you should not show it in a single angle now if you have two different areas then making any other as a made in a in a comma level again a win pool okay so you you can have two different angles normally we don't produce in a single angle so two different angles and uh, here we have different angles for every area okay so where commands uh, don't conf get confused with this command these commands are for token okay so you may see snap mode than those things those are for token commands not solid works so solid works uh, you can uh, just generate the hatch and put it but we can create the hatch even in solid works we will look at that in the next day uh, we generated the sections oh sorry hatches but there is an area to create the hatches also okay so we will uh, look at that uh, here the tool is there so we, we you can even explore these tools and try to learn by yourself uh, we can create our hatch okay and here it says uh, uh, not recommended not recommended so try to understand why this is not recommended so i will ask uh, in one minute time what is the mean, meaning of this why mehema kiyala thiyena not recommended meka recommend kiyala thiyena poda kalpana kala balanna ai recommend kala nathe kiyala so i will explain you a little bit later just try to think why it's not recommended it's something related to the angle Uh, now we have a uh, question here shall i ask from uh, a person here i haven't talked to you see and bandar what is the reason behind this see and bandar naik so can you uh, uh, tell me what is the uh, reason why we have uh, not recommended this and recommended this cn bandarna can you hear me i don't know <laughs> yeah that's the reason so don't tell that i don't know directly i have to think a little bit so i don't know why him when i kill okay so just try to think uh, so this is uh, not recommended means this line is parallel to the original border lines okay original border lines are thicker here and the 
uh, hatch angle is not very thick these lines are not very thick but in case if you take a printout and if the colors of the printout is not clear you may not distinguish so here in the computer we we can see it but in a printout sometimes this line and this line may be same color same line scale you will not see a difference that's why we ask you to have a angles different from this angle same thing here okay so here this is similar angle parallel so I, i'm taking some offset or non-parallel lines because in the computer you have to always think that also mama print out gun not only the computer we this is happening when you do a presentation even so when you come to the university you will get presentations to do you are practicing in front of a computer and when it comes to an actual projector when you project into a big screen uh, your fonts may be too large or there will be problems now you need to actually practice in front of a real project okay real uh, actual screen not in front of a computer uh, because computer screen sizes and the projector size is different the same thing comes to here also when you take a printout uh, it's different its colors may be different then up it on a fancy color same than normally in a drawing uh, sometimes the printer colors may be little bit different from your actual uh, hard copy colors okay so you you should think of about those things print out okay so you can take printouts later when we discuss about these classes if you have a printer just take the drawings printouts and see whether it's actually coming uh, as uh, it's it is seen in the computer okay so <coughs> then this is about uh, now that is the hatch in theory remember this is the recommended way if you have different areas to hatch have different angles and uh, scaling is important and the hatch angle is normally coming with the material uh, defined uh, material definition okay then this is about auxiliary views okay so civil engineering they may use this one so if you have a building now if this is a building and this is a roof if you want to show more information about the roof it's better you look at directly to the roof okay front view uh, normal top view right view will not show all the information about the roof okay not from the other angles if you look at from the top view you will see the roof but you can't see the slope if you look at from the front view you will see the slope but you can't see what is inside or what what is here clearly if you look at from the right view you see what is there but you can't see the slope so if you want to see uh, everything nicely for an example this may happen this is the classical error people will mm, do okay so if you have a circular hole here okay if you look at from the top view we can't see as a whole circle we will see as a ellipse take a file draw a circle on the file or on the paper and angle the paper and look at from the top side you can't see a circle okay take a look circle like and in a file like karagan file like angle karan today in a balan take a dia you will not see a circle you will see something like a ellipse shape okay because uh, 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 I, uh, that is that is how the projection works the orthographic projections a piece side again value front view you will see these two lines okay if you look at from the right view also you will see a ellipse okay api kelimma me adi have value we will see here we can project the lines like this and we will see a circle nicely so if you put a diameter here it is going to be wrong okay now when you produce a drawing you may put we want to show the diameter of this hole if you put the diameter of, uh, equals 5 millimeters or something here that is going to violate my drawing theory because i am showing an ellipse and i am trying to put a diameter for it. okay ellipse doesn't have diameter it has 
two radiuses or two values doesn't have single value method diameter them would vary so if you want to put a diameter method to that because this is a hidden draw so hidden drawings we don't put dimensions you have to produce auxiliary view when put the diameter for the auxiliary view auxiliary view will show you the correct circular shape and the properties of this uh, slope correctly okay so in the manual class what they do is manual class they draw the lines mehma lines and the may borders to carry it a marker normally then they project everything from here so if you have a circle uh, circular shape these lines will be projected okay may have project karno a t ruler same apache karno so they use t rulers and project it manually and uh, they will first locate the boundary here and uh, then they will project all the information and, uh, then later they will draw the circle here so this this boundary and this boundary are same this center line is same okay. so this is called an auxiliary view in a drawing class so in solidworks also we have the same tool solidworks model i will take a model and explain how to generate the auxiliary view in solidworks uh, so we have a model like this now i want to show the show more information about this angle this uh, slope so you can directly look at that and produce a auxiliary view then you will see this there there is a circular hole here i can put the diameter and show more information okay so we will take it and show you how to get it done Mm. So I think this is somewhere in the latter part. Probably somewhere here. It's the fourteenth, thirty-one injection pump model. Okay, so here we have a DWG file or AutoCAD file. Like with three or if you have time just try to learn autocad also uh, in our curriculum we are not teaching that especially mechatronic guys try to learn autocad also uh, uh, because it may be important in your um, career okay autocad ekat mage channel ekak onna thiyena so you can look at the full notes set is available in autocad uh, uh, this curriculum we don't teach you autocad because you are doing mechatronics Uh, and other people are doing computer engineering and electronics so they don't really need autocad uh, that's why we are not doing it uh, but sometimes mechatronic people may need it so better you have some touch on that uh, the theories are little bit different it's not easy as solid works okay so you need to do precise drawings like manual classes so if you really uh, want to look at that area better you do those things in your vacation time now you will get a small vacation during that vacation try to learn the necessary skills uh, so in when I, when i go to my university also they are not teaching us everything so it's our duty to uh, get the necessary skills from the other sources so nowadays you have a lot of video sources our days actually we auto youtube just came when we pass out from the university we didn't actually use youtube uh, for our work so uh, you can uh, look at the autocad theory if you want that's not that may be added and to on page okay to got a thousand of tag a goal you gonna gonna theory so i load this i it's not loading from this one mm. So data we look at it. It's in my channel. So just go through that. Uh, you like to uh, learn more. So here uh, I'll take the front view. Uh, then uh, I'll have a scale. This is not refreshing quickly. I'll do it again. So this is the front view, 
and if you uh, get the hidden lines on this may be the output okay. so I'll take the 3d model 3d is here okay so this is a mechanical part uh, the method of the mechanical parts the my so the civil and sorry are the electronic guys and uh, computer guys don't get upset that I'm doing mechanical drawings heavily because uh, drawings are not a lot of time mechanical drawings and civil drawings civil drawings are also not difficult as mechanical drawings so even though electronic guys if you design a computer even a LED bulb even a resistor you need to have a small mechanical drawing that's why uh, this syllabus this subject is available uh, included for you also okay methane system karnaya electronics so don't worry this will be really important for you okay so i have done mechanical engineering pure mechanical engineering nowadays i am learning uh, mechatronics and other things okay so uh, we didn't learn any mechatronic subjects when we were in our university so we didn't have mechatronics actually there was no stream called mechatronics so it it is a very new stream okay me recently i was amara parana engineer sa thama dannetne mechatronics kela gatti no so uh, so technology is changing so you when you where you will be in your career for 40 years at least 40 years 30 years so you, when you retire you will have a different entirely different uh, engineering uh, discipline sometimes traditionally civil and mechanical will not change but electronic related things will heavily change computer science uh, heavily changes okay so traditional mechanical civil engineering is not going to change but uh, because i haven't uh, learned mechatronics and other things nowadays we are working on these areas also we didn't have hard you know we had only peak programming so very very uh, difficult life those days nowadays you guys are easy, lucky actually you have a lot of easy things sensors everything is there you just code it and put it into the microcontroller and it's working fine those days the, that is not the case okay uh, so when you uh, when it comes to the next 10 years there will be a lot of changes okay so here uh, now don't think that um, uh, we are wasting and not you are say i don't need that okay samaru hitana me me man drawing karana ne me aave mama aave me electronic karana vitarai kiyala so that's not the case because this is now getting uh, integrated everything is going to integrate okay not like our old days old days we had we can we could run a car without any electronics nowadays it's way you can't imagine okay so if you look at all like if you take a three wheeler we don't have electronics there okay we have some electrical pulses to ignite the engine but that's all no electronic at all okay so that that's why it's a uh, it's not efficient okay so remember that these things will be important for everyone that's why we have that in our curriculum so now we will uh, generate uh, our auxiliary view so auxiliary is also uh, here available here so you need to just uh, please select a reference edge very simple you need to just select this reference edge so i want to generate an auxiliary view uh, here so in uh, our slide uh, i have to just select this edge okay just click on that that's it so it will quickly generate instantly when you go to this side it will generate the other view so you can always uh, flip that okay, you can see a view in direction and you can see the information so here uh, we we see the circular hole nicely so normally auxiliary views don't put these hidden lines on so to make a pain a complicated uh, better produce this okay so again gun yeah hidden down or some other they may have hidden down on me so that's why i i said that there may be some blames coming from other engineers that you guys are producing it from software and giving it to us you don't know what's happening inside okay so this is not needed actually it's going to complex my uh, giving my giving me a headache okay so if you put some hidden lines for this one uh, 
it's going to give you headache okay what is this okay so don't uh, try to simplify your drawings as as much as possible and we don't need normally color these things and give okay the software is giving that but we don't do and normally we don't put wireframe wireframe done normally this is enough so this will show you the hidden lines this should not 3d view normally we don't show the hidden lines and for the 3d view we don't put the dimensions okay make a dimension normally normally uh, sometimes if you produce this for a non-engineering guy so if you are doing a marketing campaign campaign and if you want to show this 3d model to a marketing uh, purposes you may put the dimensions but for the engineering uh, workshop you don't need to put the dimensions for this they you have to put here they will understand okay they should understand okay so this is how we uh, produce the auxiliary view any questions uh, let me know i'll repeat it quickly uh, i can't delete undo we have to delete so we will delete this go to auxiliary just select this edge may have gone not pull one but it's not practical may may check may watch a product now a government member on 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 that because it's not actually useful because you can take a left view okay so left view again you're gonna pull on so i don't need that so better when normally we use auxiliary views for slanted edges a little thin thing with my auxiliary gun a board okay that okay then uh, i will come back to my supplementary note later so we have to discuss about uh, getting a full view and a bill of materials those things uh, then uh, dimensioning techniques so those things are the areas we should we should discuss next day so i'll come back to this one next day mm. this one was covered so we covered auxiliary then we covered detail earlier then uh, cropping views uh, make a microsoft the pictures crop karna wage so how can you crop a view uh, normally we don't use these things but if you need just try to learn this then you can crop the unnecessary area so here this is the section this is working not only for sections anything so i can crop my unnecessary parts and show uh, necessary area okay so we will uh, do that i'll take try to take a good model this is you can crop this one even no problem shall i crop, crop this one no i'll do it i'll take a section and do it this okay this is the top view of the piston uh, then uh, i section it horizontally okay this is the outcome so this this was the uh, same thing shown here okay so what we can do is a uh, Yeah, is that um, uh, we we can uh, apply crop? Okay. So uh, this is the tool crop view. <coughs> Always read the things. Okay, mama, you know me. Okay, mama, matter that you are going to do. You can't do that. Okay. So I have learned around. Three fourths of CAD software, so I can't remember all the tools. But uh, when it when you turn on the tool, you need to read the things and get it done. But if you do it again and again, these things will be automatically in your head. Okay, even after one two years, you can remember this. Okay, so please sketch a close sketch profile. Please sketch a close sketch profile. So we need to do a close sketching. So close sketching. Uh, this time we are not getting any pencil. 
okay so we need to go to sketching other select a pencil like auto hour now we are not getting it so i'll use the spline tool and mark my crop boundary okay assume this is the area i want to crop okay nothing happened okay so if you get nothing you press this button again okay then it will work so you, you i'll undo this uh you can't undo uh now there is another one now how can i take the original view back one thing is you can delete the delete the model and get it done i i current okay I can't do undo. Okay. I have a person who solid box. So you need to make a gatta mama. Okay. Then I'll crop it. You run the tool. Please sketch it. Please do a sketch. nothing happened i just press again crop view it happened i think i drew outside i do it again mm, sketch then go back and press okay uh, this button is not working. Ah, uh, what happened? Crop view. Uh, I'll do it again. Something went wrong. Uh, I'll do it again. Get the section. Okay. Then uh, crop view. Go to sketching. Draw the shape you want to crop. Okay. Then rerun this tool. This work. Okay, so I have I matter than I make a Venus current known undo undo button is not working. Okay, so we have a problem. Okay, I'll leave that to you. Okay, a prasme mama tiyanang ogolo pota kalpana karan kohamada make a mama I original view make a gun make a delete color name section delete color I and the naked name. How can I take it back? Okay. There is no, we can't undo the things. Okay. So, this is an area which we had the problem when we teach solid works in for our past uh, in the old classes. Uh, student generates raise this question actually. So, you may already also have different questions. Okay. Whatever I am teaching, sometimes you may have different questions uh, about how to do these things. Can we? be done in a different way so regular question out make undo editor and how can i get the original shape back without deleting this without doing it again okay doing it again is not the solution we have a tool to get this original shape back take a mom for duck nokia in and then at you try to find it out okay Monkey at the method original like a gun only undo current of home and back you can't deal you can delete it and get it back that's not the way there is a way of getting the original crop view original view again in solid books try to find it okay it's not in my slides okay so i i i have generated it reverse is i didn't give not a make i original like on and come the gun without doing it again how can you do it so that's a question mark I, I will keep for you uh, next day we uh, 
some I will ask from someone whether you have done it or you know it or not okay so I, I will ask some questions uh, while we do the class uh, make a reverse karani ko hoon dhigila mata hoila kiyan na nidda us okay so there is a way of doing that we can do it mm. next one is uh, broken views so I'll make a matakati again I'll ask next day how to reverse this operation okay uh, generating broken views broken views is uh, now if you have a big lengthy part assume you have a hundred meter long part and you the diameter of the part is very little so you have say uh, you have a 10 meter long shaft okay a shaft take a diameter ke only one foot or, or less than say a few inches okay length is 10 feet uh, diameter is only half uh, two inches okay so when you put it into drawing sheet drawing sheet cannot accommodate that length to uh, diameter ratio okay length ekata wada hungakma diameter ka aduna ratio ekak length to diameter ratio ekak wadi wenawa so when you try to put it in the drawing sheet i can't see the diameter clearly ai length ekak wadi diameter ekak chutta so i can't show it in the drawing sheet clearly because drawing sheet is only A4 or A2 size. Now, Loria ka wagaya profile shaft ka gatto di gai. So, we, we can't put it in a drawing sheet and model. So, what we are trying to do is, we are trying to uh, add the model. Okay, so we section the model. This is called broken, not section. We are cutting the model from the big, middle. Uh, mehema symbols that may z symbol zigzag symbol or these kind of curve symbols or these kind of things the idea is i have a lengthy part and i'm cutting that part and showing it in a uh, i'm i'm just trying to shrink it okay may drawing sheet ekata set karaganna hadanne meka kapala mokada scale down karoth ehema ilangata mara diameter peyenne scale up karoth it's very lengthy it's going out of the may drawing sheet when you scale down your diameter is very thin you can't see the information okay so what we try to do is we cut it from the middle and shrink it okay so you can cut it like zigzag shape or something like a curve shape okay so we will uh, show it how it's done in solid works okay don't misunderstand okay continuous part uh, because the space is limited we are breaking it okay so we will uh, get it done from here we have this we have two models one is screw bar and the other one is bolt say we will take the bolt or we'll take the screw bar first so this is a lengthy bar okay i'll take the front view the measure on it's a lengthy okay pain now but this is applied when we have lengthy things okay so then uh, we will have to cut it from the middle so we have this break view broken out and break view are different okay broken out is to get sections break view is to uh show a large object in a small drawing sheet how to show it so it says select a drawing view so select the drawing okay and you can mark the position position marking can be done in any places normally we mark somewhere here and the gap between the two marks will be 10 millimeters now we make it is a dimension 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 but when you go to annotations under smart we will put the smart dimensions from here to here I'll put a dimension I'm dimension done I'll show you what's the what's happening so you can go to smart dimensions and just put a normal dimension from that corner to this corner okay so I can put select this edge this edge and put a dimension so I put the dimension actual size is 104 millimeters okay so it is it is showing actual size uh, then I will uh break it so the break i'll see that the view 
break gap is 10 millimeters it's a zigzag shape okay uh, it's a zigzag cut so you have uh, different ways small zigzag uh, then we have jet cut versions so you can select whatever so only zigzag is the most popular so you select this and if you select this position 10 millimeter tamai kohomat capin method 10 millimeter define karati then what happened to your model your model get shrink okay 104 is not going to change earlier we had this okay so i'll take another view and show you then uh, you can compare the sizes make i gamu method to pal later so uh, now I'll same thing. I'll cut it from middle. Break view. Select the view. Uh, gap ten millimeter. Ega when I scan pula, mama click karna thay na gap pe ke yatho. Mehe click kar gap pe ke ten millimeters way. Okay, you can see it's got shrink. Okay. The, then my, I'm saving my workspace drawing sheet space. So if you try to put a dimension for this new one. Same thing. Okay. Abhi okay. then kaunal print out ta karna me thana man no one to one scale lekar print out gat to here from here to here one hundred four millimeters exactly coming from the ruler. But if you measure uh, a hard copy, this will be around eighty millimeters or ninety millimeters in the hard copy. Okay. But the actual value should be hundred and four. So this is not according to a scale. Make a scale down nature model lekar. This is uh, the actual scale. Okay. But you are showing 104. But if you take it from measure from a ruler, this is not 104. This this is 104. Okay. So this is the theory behind breaking views. Uh, you can shrink your models. Okay. So I'll do it again. Uh, I'll change the gap here. Without uh, having uh, 10 millimeters, say we will have something like 20 millimeters, or say 30. Take a summary in 10 tamai yanne, just uh, take the standard sizes, then break. Don't have this kind of fancy sizes. The here, if I just click somewhere very near, 30 is there. And you can see now it's go it's got expanded something like that. Okay. 30 So better we have less than 10 or around 10 mark. Okay. So and uh, if I just put the dimension, this dimension is not going to change anyhow. Whatever the scale is not changing because this is the actual size. So this is a parametrically driven software. Okay. So then we will take a vertical one. Sorry. I have to go to view palettes. Take the other model, bold. You can show several in one drawing sheet, no problem with that. Okay. Parts, they got to not pen on a pull, and that's not a problem. Uh, then uh, we will move on to uh, break view again, select the view. Uh, and cut it uh, vertically sorry horizontal gap is given just to mark the positions see the outcome okay so uh, this is uh, should be done when you have a lengthy parts or lengthy models okay uh, let's try it and see uh, let me know if you have issues with that and if you want to change this to a curve shape just change the zigzag to a curve shape then you can get the curve Cut shape, cutting shape. Mm. Okay, do it and see. I'll come in one minute. Uh, this is the next topic. Uh, we'll discuss this one also.
uh, okay uh, this one is actually rarely used uh, alternate position views uh, I we haven't used it this one in any of the drawings so the idea behind this one is uh, this is basically used in uh, assemblies uh, you can show different orientations like right? what happens when I rotate this uh, uh, well or this this lever what happens when I rotate this lever what is the next orientation something like that okay so these are rarely used uh, concepts manual classes it's very difficult to draw this kind of a different configuration okay so actually we are drawing a different configuration in the same drawing view uh, so I discuss about this one I hope it's clear to you so this is the last topic uh, I'll take it uh, in the class but uh, normally we don't produce these kind of views So I'll open the assembly. Take some time. Uh, so we will take the isometric view. Uh, then I'll expand this size. It's too much. This is also kind of too much. Uh, so I'll take this. Okay. So it's very similar to the uh, slide uh, shape in the slide. Mehma garna pulang, isometric garna pulang. So. Uh, we will now uh, run this tool alternate position view uh, you just uh, obey the steps here just go through the steps and it says uh, select new configuration click ok or enter define the new configuration parameters or select an existing configuration now this is the existing configuration uh, but when normally when you create a new when you want to get an alternative view normally we create a new one otherwise this will overwrite the original one so I will create a new position okay then select a drawing view which an alternate position created now they will generate the they will open the part file or the assembly file now what we do is we can actually take a different orientation this is a different orientation position so if you are okay with this different position uh, we press ok now it will come back to the drawing mode again and it will show you that different position okay so this is not very uh, clearly understood by a lot of people so normally we don't produce these things so this is how we are doing it I'll do it again we had something like this and uh, alternate position select a drawing view which an alternate position view is created so this is the view create a new configuration is better okay and he will open the solidworks uh, part assembly file then you can uh, take the part to a different orientation then make a slide now with the make a gun with assemble so <coughs> we will have a different position like this and uh, after you get the different position you just press ok we will go back to the drawing mode with that different position ok <clears throat> so this is about the alternative position view so rarely use but better you know about this then it is 
completed the theater. so it does tool is completed okay so uh, so i have actually covered a lot here uh, then uh, we have to look at some dimensioning methods annotations before we come to the annotations uh, or the dimensioning uh, we need to look at some theory in the supplementary note the next day we will start with some uh, dimensioning uh, fundamentals then we will uh, start our chapter 15 last chapter in our curriculum syllabus uh, in chapter 15 what we try to do is uh, we are trying to complete our drawing so we have the generated views then we will try to look at uh, the annotation methods how to dimension a chamfer how to add some notes somehow even an icon obvious or don't ever tagal all the other one datum features geometry tolerances datum targets center marks then center lines all call outs cosmetic threads uh, multi jog bill of material this is important so at the end of the day we need to give a bill this is the amount uh, we need to manufacture this so we can produce a table with build of materials so th then uh, we put the balance here and finish our work okay so that's then uh, if you want you can modify this drawing sheet also and customize the sheet uh, as tutorials we are trying to put the dimensions to the generated views so that's about our syllabus uh, so it will take around two or three weeks three days monday and to wednesday we have the assignment so we will take uh, it will take around two days or maximum three days to complete this okay so and uh, you can even uh, if you have done this model you can have a bill of material for this piston assembly also okay so that's the end of our syllabus uh, when you complete this one so any questions about uh, today's class so i'll finish a little bit early today uh, any problems okay. okay so i see some of the students they have produced the drawing so others also please uh, do it and get uh, used to the software so if you have questions uh, next monday also you can ask uh, before the assignment second assignment so get go through go through the chapter 10 and 11 especially may mule vaone but uh, i'm checking the knowledge of 10 and 11 so 10 and 11 what are the important areas we have so we have this sweep tool okay and we have uh, <coughs> uh, sweep some uh, options in sweep then we have <coughs> cut in sweep uh, then lofting then we have uh, this kind of uh, center line lofting then we have uh, 3d sketches so this may be a good area okay so you you try to draw it and see uh, then uh, curves okay so steps will be normally given uh, if it is a complex object otherwise i will just give some drawings like this and ask you to model the part it's also a part okay may assembly name uh, assembly assignment this is the second assignment so i hope everyone will focus on this and get more marks uh, especially those who didn't get the marks uh, good marks in the first assignment so these kind of uh, models go through these things and now uh, get used to the software uh, tools you can do the uh, assignment okay so these kind of thing modeling small areas i didn't do this this is to put the dimensions to a 3d model I'll, I'll look at this later okay so normally we don't do that that's why i skip this mm, so these kind of uh, models 
just try and see uh, if you have questions uh, Monday also you can ask before the assignment okay so we will uh, stop for today uh, we will meet on Monday